Good afternoon once again. I'm here for ISEN 307, which is project evaluation. Project evaluation is very vital for every economist because as an economist, we our main, one of our main focus on project evaluation is that we are a project evaluator. We monitor projects and it's very important, a very vital area in terms of projects. Many people have lost a lot of money as a result of lack of project evaluator. As economists, our main focus is to see how we manage a project from the starting point to the completion period. So as a project evaluator, we have a crucial role to play in terms of project implementation. So in, before we proceed, we want to look at the meaning of projects. What do we economy, what do we call projects? We have a lot of definition by many scholars. According to Kyle Day, 1979, Kyle Day, 1979, Kyle Day, 1979, define projects as a set of coordinated activities, bringing into existence something of value. He see project as a coordinated activities, bringing into existence something of value. When you bring something of value into existence, we call it project. That's the definition of Kyle Day. Another, another scholar also define project called Little and Mice. Little and Mice. 1980. They also define project as a scheme or part of a scheme for investing resources which can be reasonable and reasonably analyzed or evaluated as an independent unit. That's another uh, scholar that I've seen a uh, project in that form. If you look at this definition, it's also similar with the first one because it's also talking about something investing of research, investing resources. Because when you invest resources, you should have anticipation of getting a returns. So if that is what we call project, economic call project, then we will we'll round it up and see what economic actually means by project. Then Smith, 1970, also defined projects in different form, which is also similar, 1970. He also defined projects as a capital investment, bringing into a, it's a, as a capital investment using economic resources for the production of goods and services. That's the way um, uh, Smith defined project because using scarce resources, when you use scarce resources, put two together and with the anticipation of having a return, it's a project. Okay? So many scholars have seen that the way econ what economy call projects may not be the same thing with literary meaning. Okay, and as a result of that, we'll be looking at the ingredients or characteristics of projects so that we'll be able to come up to see what our economy means by project. There are a lot of things we need to look at. So we'll look at the ingredients or characteristics of projects. Thereafter, I'll now ask a question to see ingredients or characteristics of projects. The first ingredient of project is investment of resources. Investment of resources. Yes, investment of resources. Yes, is one of the ingredients of project. It means for you to cost something a project, you must be able to invest your scarce resources. Okay, human want is limited. Unlimited, human want is unlimited, but resources are limited. That's scarce resources. Sacrificing it. Okay, for with the anticipation that you get something in return, it's a project. That is the first ingredient. Another one is the cost benefit. Cost benefit. Cost benefit uh, ingredient. That is, for you to invest something on projects, you are investing with the anticipation of getting something in return. It's similar. Okay, so cost, there must be cost, a project must attract some cost, some cost implication, and must also have some benefit. The, of course, there's nothing beneficial that you don't have to pay a price, but what we are looking at is that the benefit must be greater than the cost. The moment the benefit is more than the cost, then you go ahead and invest your resources. That's why economies are very, very careful because we don't waste. We have to minimize our resource, our, our cost in order to have the maximum benefit. So that's why we have to look at 
weigh the project before we invest our resources in it. We look at it critically. This thing does it worth investing this so much on? And look at the benefits that's going to accrue to it. So we look at the two. If the benefit is more than the cost, we'll go ahead and invest our resources. But if the cost is more than the benefit, then it means it's not viable. The other one is, the third one is planning of resources. Planning of resources. Yes, as economists, we, as I said earlier, that we don't waste. If you are a waster, you are not a good economist because we make sure that we minimize our, we make sure we use our resources to the utmost benefit. So, in planning our resources, we need to plan because a man that fails to plan is planning to what to fail. So, therefore, the limited resources have to be well planned. We plan our resources so that we're able to get the best outcome. So that's why it's one of the reasons why we have to take it as part of the um, ingredient. Now the fourth one is uh, achieving some objective. As a what called project is something that you are supposed to get some objective. Of course, every project has an objective. If you don't have an objective, you cannot. It means you are not heading anywhere. What? By coming to class today, you have an objective. You have aim that you're going to do this course. You're going to do this course. Then after the end of the day, you achieve something. So the same thing is applicable to project. If you want to start a project, you must have some certain objectives. So objective is very, very important. Okay? So it's one of the ingredients of project. Another one is time and dimension. Time and dimension. Okay? So what it means is that project must have reasonable time. Okay? It must have the beginning and an end. It's very important. Everything that has a starting point must have an end. So the project must have a limited or a certain period of time, must cover from social time to social time. The other one is it must be they have reasonable size. Reasonable size. Okay? We can have big projects, we can have small projects. So it's very important we know the size of project. Size of project must also be defined, whether it's going to be a big project or medium project or a large project or small project. So all those things have to be um, defined. The other one is uh, project must also have uh, a risk. It's also have risk and uncertainty. Yes, there's nothing that is very certain. Everything, even projects. When you are investing our money, that's why economists have to be very careful. We are very, very careful and do a top, proper planning. Proper planning has to be done because investing your resources on a project, there's risk. There's no certainty that you are going to get the money back. Okay? So that's why we need to do a thorough planning first. Okay? So one of the ingredients of cluster of project is that you are taking a great risk because there is no certainty that the money you are investing in it it's going to come back all together. So that's why economy need a proper planning so that they're able to get the best outcome of it. So lastly, uh, we also have the eighth one is cost investments. Cost and investment. Cost on investment, sorry, on investment. So the project must have uh, cost. So in um, evaluating the project, you must they have to do a tough work to be able to get the, the cost of a project. That's why when we are doing um, business plan, we do this critically by looking at the current cost because there's something we call net present value. We're going to look at it in the, in the course of this study. But for now, there's something we call net present value that you have to consider the time value of money. So when you are taking the cost of a project, you need to look at how long will the project take? Okay, how long will it take? How long will the price continue to move? That's why we have a lot of criteria, a lot of uh, uh, method. We used to look at how we calculate the time value of money. Then, if we can even do it manually, how much was this product sold last year? How much was it early this year? How much is it now? You'll be able to look at how the prices have been changing, so that will be able to help you to forecast how much will it be, to be sold by December, how much will it be sold by next year. So all these things will help you to be able to uh, get the cost, the actual cost of project. Because as a project evaluator, you need to know the actual cost of a project. Well, thereby the value of money will not affect you having the different because you must be able to minimize error. 
in minimizing error is ability to be able to do your own work prefer go to the feed and get the cost of the project so that you're able to use to be able to know the actual cost of this project because when you are sourcing for form for this project if you don't know the actual cost it becomes a problem what of if you take money that is less than what is required to complete the project and you do the project halfway and it's abandoned that's a problem and if you take money that is far 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 above what you need you remember you are paying interest on those loans Okay, so if you don't take something you don't need, you are going to pay interest on it. So that's why as an economy, you need to do a proper own way to be able to get the, uh, the, 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 the best outcome or the best cost of the project that will be able to minimize error. The difference may not be that much. So all these are ingredients of projects. So now, I want to ask a question. The question I want to ask, this so the same question that was asked when I was also in this, at this level, that... Um, in looking at all these ingredients of, ingredients of projects, is marrying a wife a project? Yes or no? That's the question I want to ask. Marrying a wife, look at all these characteristics or ingredients of projects. If you have to marry a wife, is it a project? Yes or no? It will be discussed in the class when we meet. Okay? So now, in continue, uh, continue this, we want to look at the basic concepts of project evaluation. The first concept we'll be looking at is uh, project analysis. Project analysis. Project analysis. Okay? When we say project analysis, we are looking at the assessment of projects. How do we, before we embark on projects or before our own job starts, we need to first of all assess the project. That is, get all necessary information about the project. What you are doing, start studying the project. What you are doing is project analysis. And the second one is project appraisal. Project appraisal is a point where you take decision, whether you move on with the project or not. Okay, when you are appraising the project is that you are reviewing the project. You are taking a decision whether you should move on with the project. After studying the project in the analysis, the next thing is to know whether the project is valid or is viable or not. Is it possible? Okay, in terms of um, uh, the, the cost in terms of the possibility. That's when we look at the viability and uh, possibility of the project. Okay, so that's project analysis. And the third one, which is the last one, is project evaluation. When project information starts, that is when evaluation begins. Because evaluation is to monitor the stages of project from the starting point to the last point, to this uh, uh, completion point. So a project evaluator start its job when, when implementation begins. You look at the monitoring of the project, how the project proceeds, how is the progress of the project, because as an evaluator, you, there's, if there's project evaluator, there's nothing, absolutely nothing should be able to delay the project. Because, for instance, you are in a construction site and they have bags of, 100 bags of cement and they've been using it up to the point that they have up to like less than 10. As a project evaluator, you need to know that an order needs to be placed. Not that they've exhausted the whole thing and start waiting for cement to be supplied in the site. A project evaluator monitor the progress of the project and know those resources that are needed and know those things that are needed up front so that nothing, absolutely nothing, will delay the progress or implementation of a project. So that's the purpose work, work of project evaluator. So which is very, very important for any society. So with this, we look at, with this, we conclude today, uh, we succeeded looking at the meaning of project evaluation and the ingredients of project evaluation and also some basic concepts. The next time we meet, we look at the importance or significance of project evaluation. So the, I said for the question, what we meet in the class, I would like to get an answer to the question whether marrying a wife is a project, yes or no. Thank you.